How you doing everybody and welcome to another fat biker video. On this video I'm going to be talking about what I have done with this bike on the last three months and what kind of changes I make, what kind of upgrades and what kind of uh, you know basic maintenance and settings I have done to keep the bike running. Okay so let's start with the brakes. As I mentioned in the previous video uh, where I introduced myself with this bike um, the bikes pretty much the since I aligned them based off a video that I saw on YouTube that tells you how to align uh, mechanical disc brakes and that way you don't hear that squeaky noise that normally make when they are new because they are not perfectly aligned. Uh, I had to adjust the cables you know probably like every three three weeks to every month uh, since the cable you know is uh, stretched a little bit you know so in that way I can get the same feeling on the on the handle grips that feel comfortable to me so when it comes to the brakes that's what I've been doing now as you can see the pads they still good so I have I have no need to replace the pads and you know for the bike that's only three months old uh, that would be ridiculous if you know I have to replace the pads even if the bike has been run for pretty much every day of the week okay uh, like I mentioned in the previous video, I changed the handlebars, I put this uh, rack um, uh, on the back, I uh, changed the pedals, you know, stuff like that on this bike, and I also greased all the, the axles in the front and the back, and the bottom bracket and the fork bearings, because when you buy, you know, these department store bikes, uh, those things, they aren't uh, lubricated, so you have to do that. Uh, also, I changed the seat. I put a, a cruiser seat because the seat in this thing is too small. And I'm a heavy set guy, so I wasn't you know comfortable with the factory seat. But additionally to that, I put a camera mount that will allow me to mount this camera, which is the Mobius um, 1080. And this camera is not better than the GoPro. I would say it's the equivalent of a GoPro Wide Edition. But it does the job, and it's way cheaper than any GoPro you can buy, you know, and, you know, that's why I purchased it, and it works fine. I took videos already with this camera on this bike, and even if it's mounted on the handlebar, I don't see all the crazy vibrations and all this yellow effect that you normally get, you know, with these cameras. So it's doing great, and I purchased this camera originally, you know, for this bike. I purchased it for the drone that I had, but after I sold the drones, I decided to keep the camera because it works good. Okay, now the major biggest upgrade that I did on this bike, there is an upgrade that I would recommend to everyone, is this thing over here, the free wheel. And so as you can see, this is not a factory free wheel. This free wheel is the Mega Range from Shimano, and it's a 14 tooth by 34 tooth uh, 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 free wheel. And as you can see, all the all the cocks they are separated by two teeth you know each one of them you know one from the next one to the next one to the next one now this one which is the second gear cock is separated to the first gear by 10 teeth now the nice thing about this is that since this bike doesn't have the front derailleur with different gear ratios like some other bikes are this will give you the ability to go over the hills or over rough terrain, you know, like, um, you know, sand or grass, you know, cold grass with ease. So you won't kill yourself, you know, going through that kind of effort. You know, it makes things easier, make the pedals, you know, softer to use. And all I did is just, you know, went to my local bicycle shop. I purchased this for $15 and then they charged me $5 to take the old one out and put this one in. So it really worked for me. And when it comes to the derailleur, um, I didn't have to do any major adjustments. All I had to do is just adjust this thing, the, this adjustment for the cable. So in that way I can align it a little bit better with the new um, free wheel. But other than that, everything pretty much is the same. And the chain, I didn't have to make it any longer. The chain is the same length as before. So everything stays the same. Okay, so. I strongly recommend you to get that out here. No matter of fact, any person that buy one of these department store um, uh, uh, flat bikes, 
if you don't have the two or three gear, you know, front, uh, you know, gearing system in the front, I would strongly recommend you to get that because definitely, I'm telling you, definitely it's going to make your life easier. You're going to love it. Okay, so this is pretty much the end of this video. So thanks for stopping by. So please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching, everybody.